Hello guys, my name is Subzero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to play a game that is mostly played on iPhone called Kick the Buddy but today we are going to play it in Minecraft so let's get right to it. Fourth, my whole sheep life has been a lie. What do I do now? Well there is not much that we can do now is there? No, I don't believe so. We have played this thing that my boy NR has told me to do. I had a lot of confidence when I went in that lobby and I saw the people. I thought like... Oh baby this is going to be good. These guys look like total buddies. And now, here I am. Fourth place like a total loser. I don't know how I should feel about myself right now but I know that it does not feel good. So enter number man. You are not legit and you probably have never even trick shotted in your life before. You really hurt my feelings number man. I don't like you anymore. I saw that comment and I was like, oh, this is a really good comment. I am totally going to do that. What a cool guy that NR is, giving me all that confidence and he basically just said that I was a good builder. But it turns out that I am not a good builder. But you might be wondering what kind of masterpiece your boy sub is making at the moment. And I am just making a hallway and I am just making the so that is really cool. And I am not going to have a bottom layer but I am going to have a upper layer and maybe a layer above that I don't know but we are going to see. But the doors are already in and he is looking really happy with the door so that is just fantastic. And now we can go ahead and install the staircase that we are going to have since we do need a way to go upstairs. But it is looking really odd like this but I guess that if we close this whole thing it is going to look really great. And you won't notice a thing that this is actually here so that is just fantastic. So, let's go ahead and make the outer layers of his head since we need those once to close the house and only then we can start with making the whole house from the inside. Because if your outside isn't done how are you going to make the inside? I don't know I guess you are not going to make the inside then. In the meantime here O'Brien is just making his house as well and it seems like he is already pretty far. But I guess that slow and steady wins the race. And we have got to help us out with the race and created Hero Brian so I guess that he could defeat Hero Brian. Even in a house building contest it wouldn't matter since it's just the greatest. But we are almost done with the outside guys. Done. T worry about that. Just worry about the inside since I am not sure what I should put in there yet but I think that it is going to be just fine and all of that so that is going to be really cool. And now we just need to make the pathway so that it doesn't show that it is actually sand and that the inside is actually nothing. But it is going to look like the inside is something. So actually I am playing tricks on all of the people that are going to come and visit my house. But the outside is just all bald so that is something that is really easy and I don't think that Hero Brian had it so easy. He should have shaved his head and just not look like that. Then he would have been further into the design in his house. But no he had to have really cool hair just like Steve and now he is paying for that. Because now he is not winning the house contest. But I am not sure if he is done with the outside or not. But... I am almost done with the outside so then the most exciting part of this entire video can begin, we are going to start and making the inside of the house really good. So, let's put in some stairs so we can make a little living room for ourselves because we deserve that, and we can live on top of the hallway that I build so that is just going to be great. So, this is all done and our little floor has to be put in and then we can build things that we want and stuff so that is just fantastic. But we now have all of the floors put in. So that is just great, now we can start let's start with all of this. So now that we have got the stairs done and the floor it is already looking really great. But it is finally time, that we can now start with our living room. And there are so many opportunities, we can do all sorts of things and we could do anything we would like. So, we are just going to start with some of the essentials which are the chest crafting table and of course a furnace so you can furnace some stuff because that is important and all of that. But we also have got some black wool and I think that some of you already know what that is for. Some animal stuff we could use, so that is always nice. I am not sure what else there all is but I guess we could also just take some more decoration flower stuff or something I don't know but I guess that in a flower pot you put flowers and then it looks really great. So we have got a bed a sign and we have an armor stand as well. So now we are out here bowling with all of your stuff and we are just going to build a great little thing. But I am not sure where I should go with my bed since I don't have much space to build a really amazing bedroom. 
but I do have a lot of space in the height so we could use some of that which would be quite nice, we could just place some flower pots with flowers in them and then. It will look like I actually care about flowers and all of that, and then I at least have some responsibility with my flowers then because you should water them so that is nice, and I think I would be able to do that. I don't believe that would be really hard but we have got some daisy we have an orchid which is blue, a red tulip and we also have a nice pink one and I think it looks really great with all that color combination stuff, so I am proud about my little flower place and now a painting and it should be done and all of that, so I think that just looks fantastic. But I am not done yet how do you guys think that Hero Brian is doing at the moment? I am not sure but I hope that he isn't doing really amazing since I have to be the winner and not him but look at this. Since I said that I had some space in the height and I should use that space I really wasn't kidding. So there is going to be a little wall right here and that is going to take us up to the next level but it isn't actually a next level it is just going to be a little space that is kind of just floating around where I am going to put my bed and all of that so it is just really nice. And I could have some sort of fence right here because if I go to sleep and I roll out of bed and then I just fall all the way down then I done. T think I would be happy when I wake up like that, but that isn't the problem right now. Right now the problem is to fix that and just with a couple of fences that is fixed like it is nothing so that is just fantastic. And some light right here and then our next problem is fixed. But we have got the bed in here and we are going to put some carpets up here in my favorite color which is still green so this is just looking really great even though if I do say so myself. But I don't think that Hero Brian is doing that well. I am doing quite well even though I made it myself. So now that the carpet is looking then I look to the right and I saw Steve on my boat. He stole my boat on that day. Let me put a sign here so we can clearly see who is the buddy and who is the pro. Let me fly back real quick to the last stage to see what our little thief Steve built. Well then, what is this hefty device? He built it next to a shabby house. What could that device do? I don't think it could have much of a purpose. The boat stealer just finished his device here. What is that? He pushed the lever but it is not doing anything at all oh that is what it does he is a little bit stupid and i think he attached some tnt on his thing yes this house of alex is about to blow because we are prankers and we are going to prank him that is right prankster come on you pranksters don't get me wrong you pranksters because all we are doing is pranking of course i will help alex after the video is done you are not going to need poopy blocks because would you want to live in a poopy house? Yes? No of course you would not want to live in poop. If you have done that you are going to want to take the blocks that you think look really good and would want to live inside. I strongly suggest you build with them processes wood blocks. They look pretty damn good if I do say so myself. The next step is choosing the right door. If you don't want a door you are not a good builder. A door is going to stop all of the baddies that are going to want to see your booty. Make a great wall for your new home. Not a wall that our big friend in America is going to build for the Mexicans. We also don't want to have strangers in our house maybe we could push some buddies off the edge into oblivion if he or she likes that I don't know what gender they are yet and in 2017 you have to be careful when you are talking about genders and stuff. So let's be careful with that and just enjoy pushing things into oblivion because I am enjoying myself like this and I like to push these buddies into oblivion so I got that going for me which is nice. What I do know is that I will be doing this for a long time right guys? Guys I don't know what all of you at home do for fun but I would imagine watching YouTube videos and stuff, because well, you are watching me right now but I like that you guys are devoting your time to watch one of my videos because I enjoy that thought and it is just fun to know that some people watch how you play games or when you are doing something else that other people are interested in something like that. Well I would not think that this eagle is a buddy but we can push it off. But if we do that then it might just start flying and Peta comes after my booty. But she is cool I guess. I don't know her but she is staying with me this entire time so that is also some devotion coming from her which I appreciate. But let's just continue to push buddies of the edge and if she is helping me then this deed will be done in no time because together you stand strong and that is good. But we just died so maybe she lost me no I don't know but she might have lost me right now. Oh no she was dead as well. See that is some real devotion she is even carrying me with her wings and stuff. But she literally died with me so I can appreciate that. And she is not annoying so that is also really good from her part. Wait is this Gandalf here on my right? He is holding that stick like he is Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. 
but I don't think he is that old so he can't be the real Gandalf. He is just a fake Gandalf just as this lava seems pretty fake. I don't think that this lava is even hot, but luckily, we can test the waters with pushing buddies inside of the lava and that is nice. But I am enjoying myself next to this lava and I am going to test if it is really that hot and I basically was one of those sticks that you put in your soup and then it starts to evaporate like those soup things that are like hard things I don't know what they are called but they are pretty cool. Here are some buddies maybe we can chill with them but let's go back into the lab because in here is where all the fun seems to be at. But now I also learned that lava in Roblox is also real. I didn't know that so that is handy to know when my buddy that I just pushed in seems to have the same struggles that I just had when I tried to swim in the lava. And there I went almost again, but I am a ninja so I know what I am doing and I don't think that I would fall into the lava really quick while that is not my intention but you never know if you live as dangerous as me. I am a daredevil living on the edge, and these buddies are living on the edge. So they got that going for them and I do not have that going for me so they have more going for them than I got going for me, but I think I have some things going for me but I am not too sure what those things are but that is okay because now I am at a toxic bath and I am not sure what this exactly is but it looks like something toxic where you should not really stand next to unbreath that air through your nose. That will probably be even worse than cigarettes and stuff because well, look at it. It is all green and stuff. I don't like that and I pushed two buddies in it but I don't really like to be next to that but yeah up there on the castle that Sub-Zero X to bite him personally built on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill is kind of split in half now which is also not really that good since it is now kind of dead. We should kind of change the name to something that is more suitable to its current state. That would be something along the lines of half ruin castle that Sub-Zero X to bite him personally built and the creepers have exploded but it is still on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill. No wait I should remove the bit with the bottom of the hill. So it would be something like half ruin castle that Sub-Zero X to bite him personally built and the creepers have exploded but it is still on a cool little hill. Yes I think that totally sounds amazing and we are going to rock with that name. And now there are more creepers on the realty amazing battlefield with all the lava and stuff I don't even remember the name of Steve with the big eyes just kind of trolled me right there, and now he is making it up with me and he has something really amazing for me which is a diamond sword and we could use that but I think that our man has some more stuff for me by the looks of it which is just fantastic and he has given me diamond armor. Oh lord yes, I really like diamond armor, thank you so much Steve with the big eyes even some golden apples oh yes we could use them as well and now we are out here bowling with golden apples which not a lot of people have but we have got them and we are ready for a war right now and the creeper pit has not died and we didn't since we only lost two hearts and those were both the hearts that we gained from the golden apple but now my boy is spawning in a lot more creepers so it should be fun down here this water is kind of annoying to be honest with all of you. But that is part of the custom map in the challenge I guess so it is fair. But the thing is that these are a lot of creepers which is not really that fair. But if one creeper explodes when there are a lot of creepers then they all just kind of die thanks to one explosion which is something that is really amazing and interesting if you would ask me. But now the creeper pit is not a pit anymore but it is almost like it is a new country or something. Look how deep it is in all of that. Even the silverfish came in to have a look so you know it is really that deep when those silverfish come in, and those things are not a joke man, those things are evil and they will nibble on you when they can and you don't want to get nibbled on now do you? Well I at least don't want to get nibbled on so I guess we have to kill them all, but the problem is that they are really small little fish that are not even fish so my names that I give to things are way clearer than a silverfish which is silver but it is not a fish and it is kind of grey if you would ask me. If I had to give the silver fish a different name then I would name them something along the lines of grey looking fish that is actually not a fish but it is a lion. These things look cute but they are not cute and they lead again about that. They are just one big lie. And that is how I would name them if I was a scientist. Could you imagine it? Scientist sub? Well I couldn't but it would be something that would just be revolutionary since then there would be a whole lot of stuff that would be clearer. So now that this very hard challenge seems to be kind of completed, not really but it is kind of completed if you have to be honest like it was just a blast playing and it was like, literally a blast playing hey 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 since the creepers like blast when they blow up. Oh, you don't think that is funny. 
Well I thought it was funny I think this is funny and I think everything I did today will work. There are some small details that I need to work on but I will bring in Chip so he can have a look at it to complete the machine. So people keep in mind that mobs are bad. They will try to kill us destroy our home so that said I am going to end this video but I will be back with a new video very soon so until then I say goodbye.